So, I mean, Jesus, Ryan Getzlaff's been butchered. Ricard Raquel, Lindholm, Fowler, Manson, all right, all these guys. Uh, Maxime Comtois, Comtois is a 78 overall. Now, I'm not going to go through everything. Like I said, there's always going to be opinions on which changes should be made on some teams. I just want anything that's crazy. So, at the Anaheim Ducks, I don't think any need any changes, right? I'm not going to raise Maxime Comtois or anything like that. Ryan Getzlaff at 85 overall. I think that could be a little bit higher up, but whatever. Jamie Drysdale, do I gotta do I gotta create Jamie Drysdale or is he in the game? Drysdale, Drysdale. I don't even know if he's in the game or not. All right, so all, the Anaheim Ducks are fine. Okay, Gordia, please make Dougie Hamilton a 90 overall. He currently has a uh, 85. Yeah, that's what I mean. Arizona, what the fuck? Phil Kessel 85 is ridiculous. Oliver Ekman Larson, man, everyone's like around the 85 overall. This is why the seasons are crazy. All right, so yeah, that's fine. I'll leave all this. That's fine. That's fine. I don't want to start making crazy changes just yet. And what about uh, what about their goaltender situation, Ranta and uh, Kemper? Wait, why should I make Kemper like a starter, an 87 overall? We got to make Kemper better, right? He's better than Ranta. Kessel 89. Nah, Kessel's fine at 85. Kessel will still get his goals, but Kemper's got to be better. All right, how good is Kemper? Give me that one. That's a good one. Darcy, Kemper. Just give me a number. 86, 87, 87. Okay, so everyone's saying between 86 and 88, so I'll just do it. Uh, I'll be fair. 87, all right? So Darcy Kemper, 87. There you go. I'll leave Ranta. Uh, I'll leave Phil at 86. He's, still, he's got high elite potential. Hell yeah, I'll leave Phil at 86 That's or 85 because he can still grow, and I know he's going to get his shots off. He just doesn't have any fa physicality. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave Phil. Boston, Pasternak, Marshan. Should these guys get a boost? Like, should I make them, like, all 93 overall? You know what I mean? Boston's got a great team. I want them to be dominant in the simulation. What do we do? What do we do? 91? Oh, 93? 92? Pasta should be higher than these two guys? Nah, I kind of like the idea of them all being the same. They just have advantages in different categories. So, Pasternak's a shooter. Bergeron's the two-way. Marchand's just a well-rounded player. Pasternak, 95. Drop Ranta. 92 max. Okay. Okay, I'm not dropping Bergeron to 89. Get the hell out of here. All right, so how about how about Bergeron 91, Marchand 92, Pasternak 93? How about that? Pasta 93, Marchand 92, Bergeron 91. How about that? Good, good. All right, I got it. Okay, so Boston Pasta 93, the Rat 92, and Bergey 91. All right, uh, Krejci, DeBrusque, I'm not going to change any of these guys. Nick Ritchie, Coyle, blah, 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 blah. They're all good. What about defensemen? Charlie McAvoy. McAvoy at 86 is fine. 86 is good. He's one behind uh, uh, Oliver Ekman Larson. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then goaltenders, Tuka Rask, Tuka Rask at 90 overall. That's about right. That's about right. Marchand, a playmaker? I'm not going to start changing player types. That's too much, guys. I'm not, I'm not going to start doing that. Nah, he's a two-way forward. He can get it all done. Don't. I'm not going to do that. Two-way forwards can still get good... Uh, Good, what's it called? Elite potential? Elite potential? I think they'll get up to elite. All right, so I'll, I'll maybe I'll make Patrice Bergeron and Brad Marchand elite potential as well. Okay, cool. Let's move on. The Buffalo Sabres. Now, here's my problem with the Buffalo Sabres. They simulate so well with this team. I feel like I got to drop some. Like, fuck Rasmus Dahlin and uh, Ristolainen, right? What? The 84, 83, I think. Dahlin, 84, Ristolainen, 83. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. These guys simulate way too well. Way too well, man. 83 each. All right, so I got that. Darlene, 83. Uh, Ristolainen, uh, 80. Yeah, I give him an 80. Yeah, you know, I give him an 83. Yeah, he's not that good yet, and he's going to he's gonna get better. And Ristolainen, an 83 then, too. Ristolainen, an 82. All right, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Fuck this guy, man. He's exactly that. He always grows into a super defender. What's what's he been doing in the NHL? Get the hell out of here. 86. All right, so I got uh, Dal uh, uh, Darlene, 83, Ristolainen, uh, uh, 82. What about their forwards? Now, what do you guys feel about a Sam Reinhardt? Because he turns into a stud of a player. Now, let me just see his 25 goals, 22 goals, 22 goals, 50 points, 65. Like, I, I, 84, 83 for Reinhardt? Like, he's better than Kessel in this. You know what I mean? I, like, I know he's putting up some numbers, but... I don't know. This is one team, the Buffalo Sabres, that simulate way too well in year number one. 83 for Reinhardt? All right, good. Right. It's just year one. I just uh, Year two, that's fine. It's just year one. Uh, Olofsson? Now, how good is Olofsson? Should Olofsson be 85? I'm fine with Eichel and Hall being up there. Olofsson, 85? How good is he? 
83? All right, yeah. This is what I mean, man. Buffalo, they, like, always go to the Stanley Cup Finals in year one. It's crazy. 83 for all of a sudden. All right. Uh, Reinhardt, Eric Stahl's fine. Damn! <laughs> oh, my God. 80 overall for Jeff Skinner. $9 million for seven more years. Talk about screwing the pooch on that contract. My God. Make him 82? Skinner? Top six, John, for Skinner? Low elite, it'll change because he's 28 years of age. So the one thing that I've noticed in the past about GM modes is that when you change the potential, it doesn't always matter. Sometimes when the game starts up, it just fixes their potential based on their age and overall. So I'm not going to mess around with potential, okay? Um, except uh, for a few plays, but I think it might just get moved back anyway, so whatever. Uh, Gergensen's, Akpoza, oh my god, Akpoza, look at all this money got that got down here. Uh, Cousins will get better, so I'm fine with Cousins being 78 overall. Uh, Darlene, I got those two guys, and then the goaltender situation. Uh, how good do you guys think Linus Olmark is? They have that Lukanen guy coming up, but in year number one. Uh, appreciate it, Shavin01. Five gifted subs. Come on, we got to get everyone a gifted sub in here. I want those emotes, spam. Ham Z1, let's go, buddy. Olmark, 82, 83. 84 is fine. All right, so 80, you know what? If we're just going to lower that one, then I'm going to leave Olmark the way it is. All right, good. So the Buffalo Sabres got a big-time, uh, 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 what's it called, downgrade. Now, here we go. Johnny Goudreau, 88. Yeah, Kachuk, yeah, yeah. I mean, Lindholm is better than fucking Kessel. All right, whatever. Monaghan. This is ridiculous. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going back. I'm putting Kessel up to 87. I'm going back. I'm putting Kessel up. This, this, is, a, this is a sham. This is a sham. I'm putting Kessel up to 87. Anyone who's got a problem with it, you can kiss my ass. All right. Yeah, I'm putting Kessel up to 87. Because Lindholm, like, like, fucking Kessel can do it, man. Kessel can do it. Kessel simp, whatever, man. I don't care. I don't care. He gets shit on all the time here. Is there anyone that should be, should I raise up Mangiapani? Sam Bennett? Should these guys be in the 80s? Should we give Calgary some depth? Mangiapane 80. All right. So what I'm going to do for Calgary, I'm just going to type in Calgary depth. So a lot of their players that I'm, that I'm familiar with, I'll get them up to like 81, 82. Calgary depth. All right. Raise. All right. There you go. So yeah, I'll go to work on those guys. I'll, I'll leave these guys. Lindholm plays well. I know I'm not shitting on Lindholm, but Kessel plays well as well. You know what I mean? I just didn't know the new set. Like Kessel 85, Mon and Lind. Like, give me a break, dude. Kessel is an Iron Man. All right, Lucic 99. How good is Lucic? Where is Lucic? Damn, Lucic's not even on the team. Oh, there he is. <laughs> 78. Uh, defenseman, Giordano 86, Hannafin. Now, what do you guys think about this? The blue line for Calgary. I wouldn't mind raising Mark Giordano, but he's getting a little bit older. What do, what do you guys think? Like an 87 for Gio? Tanev 85? Bennett 82? I got, the, I got the depth. Don't worry. Let me just see what you guys say here. Tanev should be 85. So Tanev... They're saying Tanev raise. Tanev, 85. All right, got it. Boost Anderson. Anderson as well, 84. Anderson, 84. That's good enough good teams. Me. I want to make sure they're good. Absolutely. Patty Ricks, appreciate it, buddy. The gifted sub to Jack Eichel. Uh, Noah Hannafin. Noah Hannafin will get better, boys. He's got the medium elite potential. Uh, what about Valimaki? Hannafin, high top four. Geo, okay, okay, so everyone, okay, so you know what, and uh, Calgary depth raise and Calgary defenseman raise, defense, so I'll just raise all the defensemen up by one or two points, all right, I got that, Valimaki 82, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, I got it, I got it, this is, this is, I know, I know this, and uh, how do you feel about Markstrom at 88, Tuka Rask was at 90, 89 maybe, 90, I mean, he's starting to, like, we should give him legit numbers, you know what I mean, if he's a star in the NHL, give him an 89, 90, what do you guys, I mean, he's 30 years of age. He signed a six-year deal, so we can get him going right now. He's good. He's a stud. Markstrom, 90. Yeah, I agree, man. Markstrom, 90. I agree with that. I agree with that, absolutely. Markstrom, 90. 90. All right, there you go. And I'll give him medium starter, so he can go up and down. It's not going to give medium elite. No, no, I'm not going to give him medium elite. He's good right now. Signed for six years. He can keep that 90 overall with the starter if he plays well. That's another thing we got to look at. The goalie stats with the sim scoring engine and all that nonsense. All right, so Calgary got a good one. Riddich 82. Riddich 82. All right. Riddich 82. All right, so a lot of changes there for Calgary. Let me just keep on saving this. Because yesterday, all my business notes got fucking deleted when I lost power. So I want to keep on saving this. Uh, new GM mode uh, settings. It's going to be saved in my documents. No, saved to my desktop. There you go. 
All right, bang, saved. All right, next up, we got the Carolina Hurricanes. Interesting team right here. They just traded for Alex Galchenyuk and uh, Galchenyuk and somebody for Dezingle for Ottawa. I forget who that second guy was. All right, so what do we got here? Sebastian Aho, 88. Svechnikov. I mean, Svechnikov. Good God, Tara Vinen. They did Kessel dirty, man. They did Kessel dirty. Uh, Aho, 90. Nah, let's relax on Aho being 90. 88, he's going to continue to grow. 88's fine, I think. Svechnikov is good at 87. Svech is 85. Stahl, 85. Hmm. Okay, so hang on. Let me just see here. Their team is good. They're, they already have very good depth on this team. Hmm. Now, I think that's good enough, to be honest. Maybe a Jordan Stahl a little bit higher up. Uh, their depth should be better. That's some pretty good depth right there, man. Because one, two, three on the first line. One, two, three on the second line. One, two, three on the third. Like in year one, they have nothing but 80s in the top nine. And then their defensive core. All right, so uh, stall. Everyone's saying stall. All right, so stall up to 85. They're captain. All right. Stall up to 85. Got it. All right, so that's that. Next up, we got defenseman Dougie Hamilton. Should Dougie get a big increase? Slavin, Shea, Pesci, Jake Gardner, Hayden Fleury, Jake Bean. Dougie up to 88. Okay, Hamilton up to 88, 89, 89, there you go, all right, but just offensive stats, I got it, all right, there you go, uh, Slavin 90, Slavin 87, Slavin up there as well, all right, so if Hamilton's 89, Slavin can be 87, all right, there you go, and then Shea and Pesci at 84 and 83 are fine, Gardner at 83 is fine, good, Pesci 85, nah, nah, the 83, he'll grow to 85. Let's not go crazy with things here. They have a good team. Let's not let's not make them, like, unstoppable. And then Mrazic and Reimer, is that fair for those two? Should they get an increase? Or are they, or are they backups? Fair? Fair? Reimer 99? <laughs> Jim Reimer! No, I can't do it. Look at James. He had himself a, a fairly good career. 161 wins, buddy. Good job. Oh, I miss him. Oh, there was his good season, man. 19 wins, 8 losses, 5. Oh, my God. There was the good year. That was the good year. <laughs> the right minister of defense. Yeah, I remember that. All right, so Chicago. Let's get uh, to work on these guys. Okay, so 91. She can't be better than I think, because uh, like that's why that's what I mean. You guys are saying Aho at ninety. If we're gonna do that, Kane should be way up there. That's why I don't want to raise. I'm fine with Kane being ninety one. Kane ninety three, but if Pasta's ninety three, that's the thing, right? We made Pasta ninety three. We should probably make Kane ninety three as well. If Pasta's ninety three, like that's the new, that's the new like top player that we've made now. So if Kane, if Pasta's ninety three, Kane ninety two. Man, you guys are saying straight up Kane is worse than Pasternak? All right, I'm going Kane, 92. That's good enough for me. All right. Uh, Taves, 87. Debrinkit, Strom, Kubelik, Kirby Dak. Is there anyone else I should be raising up here? You got to give Dak medium elite potential. Uh, no, he's good at high top six. I'm not going to start changing potential. Suter, 82. This guy. 79 overall, 82. All right, they have been winning recently, so I'll go Sutter, 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 82. All right, <clears throat> got it. Strom, top six. Uh, Dylan Strom. All right, Dylan Strom, top six. Got it. Uh, their depth, camp. Kampf did have that good play. I'm going to raise Kampf up to 81. All right, Kampf. 81. Uh, Kurashev. No, all these guys can stay. All these guys can stay. Kubelik, 85. Nah, he had a good year last year. 82 is fine. Oh, where, where is he? He's 83. That's fine. Yeah, Kubelik at 83 is fine. All right, so Kane should be able to carry that team at 92. Suter's going to get a bump. Strom's going to lose potential. Kampf's going to get a bump. Defenseman. Uh, what do you guys think? Any increases that need to happen right here? Nylander, top six as well. All right, Nylander and Strom, top six. All right, what do we got for D-Man? That's all fine. Keith, 86. I'm not going to start raising that. Murphy, 83. Murphy a little bit better. Murphy better. All right, got it. 
Murphy 83, got it. Anything else? Anything else? Good. Zadorov. Zadorov should be better. Mitchell, a high top four. Mitchell. Mitchell, a high top four. All right. Got it. All right. So, yeah, that's enough changes right there. That's enough changes right there. Oh, what did I do? Oh, fuck. Uh, Chicago. And then goaltenders. Lankinen. My God. All right. So, how good is Lankinen? If Mrazic was 84, all right. Mrazic was 84, what are we doing Lankinen? Are you going to say already that Lankinen's better than fucking Mrazic? That's kind of rough. 83? 83, 84? Between 83 and 84? All right, I'll give him an 83. That's fair. He's the same as a Rhymer right now. And he'll have the medium starter potential at 25, so he can always go up. Goalies can all go up. All right, there you go. And then Subban added uh, 81. That's fine. All right, saved. Good. All right, there's Chicago. Next up, we got Colorado. Now, Colorado, I don't know if they need an increase. They're already really good. McKinnon, 94. Is McK McKinnon's got to be better than uh, Pasternak, right? McKinnon, 94. Mac, 95. 94. 94 for McKinnon. Got it. Uh, Rantanen, Landeskog, Kadri, Saad, Burakovsky. What do you guys think about everyone down here? Kadri, 86. All right. Kadri, 86. Got it. What else? Mikushkin, 81. Eh, that's fine. 79 is fine. He'll grow to 81 if he has a good season. Landeskog, 89. Should Landy get a, a, bo a boost? Landy is 89. Landy, 89. Got it. Rantanen is 90. 92 for Rantanen? Hell no. Hell no. They had that one good year. Relax on Rantanen. He can still grow. We're not putting him better than Patrice Bergeron and uh, Brad Marchand clean. He's got the offensive ability right there. Just relax. He'll grow in his years to come. Let's not let's not go crazy here. One good year, Velmu. You know what I mean. That hang on, I'll show you what I mean. That you remember that one season that they all just went off? Like McKinnon was like on pace for something, then they slowed down a little bit. Was it his, it was this season, wasn't it? Yeah, it was 2017, 2018. They had that incredible start to the season. But like like the, let's 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 go let's calm it down a little bit. Let's calm it down a little bit. He's like and uh, you know, if we raised uh, Landy to eighty nine, nah, I'll leave Rantanet at ninety, that's fine. Kadri Burakovsky. Burakovsky, 85. Well, let's not make them too OP. They're already going to be good. Now, Burakovsky's fine at 83. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, you know what? All right. That's a good idea. Burakov, 84. I'm going to give him an 84. All right. Uh, defenseman. All right. Byram needs an increase. I know, a medium elite, but he needs that increase already. Makar is fine at 87. Eric Johnson, what are we doing here? Makar, 89. He's going to grow in year one, though. Like, by the end of the year, Makar might be 89, so it, it makes sense, right? Gerard, 85. All right, so... 85. What's Byram? What about Byram? Byram, 82. 82. I'll do 81, then, for Byram. And then... What do we got for Taves? Taves. Taves 83. Taves 83. Got it. Byram 82. Simmons. We're going to leave McCarr at 87. He'll he'll get better. He'll get better. I, I mean, I'm sure our stats are already way up there. Hang on. Yeah, his offensive win is already 92. Passing is 90. He's already super fast. It's just the physical category that is. Yeah, yeah, that's fine for McCarr. That's fine for McCarr. He'll grow, boys. He'll grow. All right. Uh, Grubauer at 85. Is that good enough? Make McCarr high elite. He already gets real good, boys. Don't worry. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So that's Colorado. We got McKinnon, Kadri, Landy, Burakovsky, Gerard, Byram, and Taves. That we're all growing. That's enough, boys. That's enough. We don't want to turn them into an unstoppable team. All right. CBJ. Now, CBJ. Jonas Corposalo. I mean, what are they doing in E8 Sports? How is Corposalo only in 84? What the fuck? Corposalo, boys. What are we giving them? 86. 87. 84 is fine. You're crazy, man. And Corpus Allo is a goalie, dude. He's somebody that he... Yeah, 86. All right, let's go 86. Should I give him medium elite? Because he's he's hitting that. Should I give him medium elite, Corpus Allo? No. 
Nah, nah. Low elites. Okay, interesting. I'll, I'll I'll look into that. Low elite, maybe. All right, got it. Uh, forwards. All right, Patrick Line, <laughs> Bjorkstrand, Nyquist, Domi, Atkinson. What do we got? Roslovic. That's good. Grigorenko. What do you guys think? Line A, 83? No, no, no. <laughs> Let's see line A stats. Uh, it's just his defensive awareness. That's about right for line A. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with line A being 87. That's fine, man. Roslovic up. Texier and Roslovic up. Nah. All right. And Roslovic. Roslovic up. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. What about, uh, no, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, those are fine. Now, defensemen, Wierinski and Jones. Now, should Jones be clearly better than Wierinski? And should Gabrikov get an upgrade? What are we doing there? Jones is better. So, what should Jones be? Jones is bad? Ooh, we got a, we got a difference of opinion right here. Jones is bad, but also some people are saying that Jones is up there. Some people are saying Wierinski's better than Jones. Oh, no. All right. This is a tough one. All right. Uh... All right. So, you know what? Since we can't agree, let's just leave them both at 87. That's fine for me. All right. So, it's just Corpusalo, Texia, and Roslovic up. Yeah. That's fine. It's fine by me. If we can't agree, then we're just going to leave it the same way. Yeah. That's fine. All right. So, let's move on. Uh, defenseman, Kukon. 80. Nah, let's we'll just leave those. That's fine. Gavrikov is 83 with high top six. Gavrikov 82. All right, Gavrikov. Oh, that's the... All right, so they got it. Four players that got upgraded. All right, so that's good. Kukan, 79, Kukan. All right. I'll move him up to like 81. Savard is 84. Savard is 84. Jesus, all right. Getting too too many players now, boys. Too many changes. Remember, the Columbus Blue Jackets, we're, we're trying to change teams so that they do better in the simulation. We're not just trying to give every single player. Now, you know what? I'm going to, yeah, Savard is fine at 83, not 84. There you go. All right, next up, we got the Dallas Stars. All right, so forwards, Tyler Sagan, Pavelski, Radulov, Jamie Benn. My God. All right, should should we give any kind of upgrade to these guys? Goranoff, Rupe Hints. I want Dallas to do pretty good during the, uh, the simulation. <clears throat> ben, 87. Man, everyone's just spamming shit. There's a lot here. All right, so hang on. Sagan, yeah. Pavelski, yeah. Radulov, yeah. Jamie Ben. I can do Ben up a little bit. Yeah. Ben up. Uh Gurianov and Hints. I'm going to give eighty five. All right, Gurianov and Hints are going to 85. There you go. Uh, Radic Faxa, Dickinson, Kervaranta, this guy. How good should this guy be? 81? All right. Kervaranta, 81. Uh, what about Jason Robertson? Seventy-nine? Eighty? Seventy-nine? I'll give him a seventy-nine. Okay. Uh defenseman. Uh all right. I think Klinberg should get an increase. I think he should be like ninety. I I, I love Klinberg. I think he's so good, man. Ninety for Klinberg. Eighty-nine, ninety easily. Alright, good. Lindbergh, 90. Uh, Heskinen, Heskinen, 85. Heskinen, 87. Now nah, he's going to grow, boys. At 86, medium elite, he'll grow. I'm fine with that. Uh, what about the rest of their defensive core, though? Because they're a good defensive team. Lindell. Lindell up. And Alexia, just their whole defenseman up. Okay, so you know what? And then 
D man depth. I'll type that in. All right, D man depth. I'll just raise a bunch of those guys. Got it. Uh, goaltenders. Uh, that looks about right. Ben Bishop when he's in the net, 89. And then Godobin as the backup. Should Ed Ottinger get a, like an 81, 82? Ottinger, 82? Ottinger, 82. Got it. Bishop down. Bishop down. All right, Bishop. He should still be better than Godobin. So I'm going to rate, I'm going to lower Bishop to 86. How's that? Bishop to 86. So he's still the starting goaltender. He just drops down. And then they still have Godobin as the backup. Sure. 87. All right. I'll give him 87. 87. There you go. All right. There's the Dallas Stars. Let's move on. Don't want to be stuck here forever, boys. Uh, the Detroit Red. All right. So I don't think I'm changing much about Detroit. Larkin is good. Mantha is fine. Uh, bah, 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 bah. They're all good. Yeah. I'm not changing anything here. And then defenseman. Let's see. Uh, Ronick, Stetcher. I mean, is there anything I need to change here? Bernier and Grice. Is there anything I need to change? Bobby Ryan update. No, I'm not changing Bobby Ryan. Get the hell out of here. Uh, decline Mantha. Put Mantha down. So like a medium top six for Mantha. Got it. All right. Uh, high leads way too much. Just leave them. Bert, 86. Yeah, Bert, uh, Bertuzzi's got a pretty good number in there. I'm not going to touch that. Is there anyone else that I haven't noticed? Henrik Zetterberg. Bobby Ryan at 82. Nah, that's fine. Zadina, 84, 85. Is Zadina having a good year? Nah, I'll just leave him then. Because medium elite, he'll grow. He'll grow. No, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, their defense, of course, fine. Remember, boys, it's just these shitty teams I don't care about. Yeah, they're fine, man. They're fine. I'm leaving them. Edmonton, interesting. All right, so the best player in the game. How good should he be? McKinnon was 94. Pasternak was 93. How good should McKinnon be? I mean, McDavid be. 97? I like 97. Yeah, I like 97. That's good. McDavid, 97. Got it. Dreisaitl. If McDavid's 97, what should Dreisaitl be? Pasternak's 93, Kane's 92. What should Dreisaitl be? I think Dreisaitl should be like a 93, 92. I don't think he should be one step below McDavid. He's on the same level as like a, McKinnon's 94, a Pasternak's 93. Where's Dreisaitl? I think he should be 93, 92. He's probably fine just right there. He's good. I know he's good, but let's not start, you know what I mean? Like, let's, let's, there's still other good teams around the NHL. Yeah, you know, I'm going to leave him at 93. That's fine. The Nuge. Interesting. The Nuge is an interesting one. What do you do with him? The chat is moving so effing fast, fam. I know. I can't even keep up with it. The Nuge. 86. All right. So the Nuge is fine then. Kyle Yamamoto at 83 is good. Calhoun is fine. Cassia. Da, 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 da. Puya Harvey. Should we raise Puya Harvey? Is he better than 79 now? I mean, they have started winning recently. Give him an 81. All right, got it. I'll give him an 81. Pull my Harvey. 81. Uh, what else we got in there? Archibald, 82. So just some, some depth. Give them some depth. All right, so depth. A little bit of depth. Got it. All right, so we're just going to make uh, McDavid better. Uh, uh, Drysdale's going to stay the same. Newt's going to stay the same. Get yeah, Puya Harvey up there. That'll be on the first line with them. And then their blue line. Let's see. Darnell Nurse, Tyson Berry, uh, Clef Bomb. I want to change Tyson Berry to an offensive defenseman. Is that fair? I don't know why they have him as a two-way. Yes, yes, yes. Berry down. Berry's actually been decent. So I'm going to leave him at 85. Appreciate it, Horse Teeth Medano. There you go, boys. Five more gifted subs. You guys getting that? Buried 84. All right, so I'll drop him down. Offensive defenseman and 84. Got it. Got it. He's been decent on the power play, though, for them. Uh, Clef Bomb, Larson, Ethan Bear. Anyone else here should get an increase? Evan Bouchard. Like, uh, is that a, that's a pretty good blue line the way it is right now. Nurse bring down. Larson, 88. Get the hell out of here. Nurse, 88. No, no, no. I'm going to leave Nurse at 86. Baron Jones up. Baron Jones. Ah, I think Ethan Barrett 82 is fine. That's good enough for me. 
All right, so you know what? It really is just depth. All right, so I got it. I already got depth down. Yeah, okay, cool. Got it. Uh, and goaltender, what do you think? Mrazek was 84. Uh, uh, Lankinen was 83. Is Lankinen the same as Koskinen? Leave it. Fine. Both 82. Goalies are fine. Both 82. Koskinen drop. Nah, leave it. It's fine. 83 is fine. All right, got it. Next up. We got the Florida Panthers. Interesting. Good team here. Uberdo, Barkov. Hmm. I don't know. Should Barkov be better than Uberdo? Both 91. Okay, so I'm going to go Barkov 92 and I'll leave Huberdo. All right, Barkov. Barkov is like uh, in the uh, in the Brad Marchand type area. Brad Marchand is a 92, so is Barkov. And then Uberdo is 91, just like Patrice Bergeron. All right? So there you go. Bar uh, 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 Barkov, 92. Uh, Hornqvist, Wenberg. I, I know. Should they just get depth, their whole team? Like, just depth. Horny, 85. That's, okay, so just depth. Depth. I got it. I got it. I'll take care of that. Depth. Yeah, yeah. It's their whole It's their whole team. Yeah, it's their whole team because they're having a good season. Got it. Uh, Ekblad. How good should Ekblad be now? If you got 92, 91... So he's still an 86. Uh, Giordano had an 86, but we're raising him. Ekblad, what should we have him up to? 87? 88? 86? 80, okay, so let's give Ekblad just a little bit. Ekblad, 87. He can still grow. Uh, Captain Keith, Yandel down. All right, Yandel down. Yandel down. Uh, go to 84? 84? 84 for Yandel. Got it. Yandel, 83. All right, 83. Got it. Uh, and then just depth again. Just depth on the blue line. Just a little bit for Uyghur, Strawman, Nutivara, Gudas, Forsling. What do we do there? Just slight depth. All right. So two times depth for Florida because they're having a good season. And then Sergei Bobrovsky, 87 overall. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Markstrom was 90. Rask was 90. Those are the top goalies that we're having right now. 85, 86. Guys, remember, he could come back and pick it up again. You're just going to shit on him and say he's 85? Damn, dude. All right, so 87 is fine then. 87 is fine. In between 85 and 90. Because Bob sucks, yeah, but the goaltenders go through streaks, man. So I'm going to leave him at 87. Yeah, that's fine for me. Nah, 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 nah. Bob is trash. All right, I'll lower him. Fuck. Bob down to 80. I'm moving him down to 86. I'm not going below that. 86. All right. There you go. All right. Good. Uh, next up, we got, let's see, the LA Kings. Don't think I'm making too many changes here. Uh, Kopitar, yeah. Fantasy U, Brown, Jeff Carter. Is there anyone I need to raise here? LA shouldn't be a good team, so I really don't care about making the players better. They're gonna, They're not going to simulate well. Velarde, he'll grow naturally. Medium top six at 79 overall. He'll grow naturally. I don't need to make these guys better. Uh, Boost Zod, Velarde up. Kopitar is in franchise. Uh, low, it's just because of his age. They just want him continuing to play. That's all that is. I have follow 83 to 84. They're going to grow. No, 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 no. I'm not doing this for each team. It's not about the players. It's about the team's performance. Uh, Drew Doughty, Mata. There's nobody there. You know what? LA is good the way it is. That's not a team that I'm going to change. All right. Oh, shit. There you go. Doughty, 83. Shut your mouth. Shut your damn mouths, all right? And so he's not having a good season because he's just got no one around. I'm not taking lower Doughty. You guys are crazy, man. Okay, hang on a second. Kopitar was a 90. All right, so I'll drop Doughty to a 90 then. I'm not dropping him below that. I don't care what you guys say. Doughty to a 90. And then depth up. And then they need some depth. Got it. Give him 89. No, no, no. I don't care. I don't care. LA Kings are a shit team. Put him on a good team. He'll probably be fine. Get the hell up. I don't care. Minnesota. Uh, all right. So Minnesota had the good start to the season. Now, I think this is way too much for Kirill Kaprasov. Kaprasov. But I don't, I don't know, man. That's a lot for him. What do you guys think? Leave him. 83 is fine with medium elite. So this guy's going to become like a 90-something overall player. It's fine. Leave it. Okay. Leaving it. If Kevin Fiala better. Fiala, 85. All right, got it. Uh, Greenway, yeah, that's good. Uh, Zuccarello, Parise, anything that needs to be raised here? 
Fiala at high top six. Yeah, that'll happen by itself. Parise, 84. Got it. Uh, what else? Rask. Rask is bad. All right. Uh, Sturm. No, we can leave those guys. All right, cool. Then that's fine. Defenseman. Uh, Sutter. Dumba. Spurgeon. Brody. Ian Cole. What do you guys think? I'm going to go for some drink, uh, drink of water. Spurgeon, 87. Okay. Spurgeon, 87. Got it. <clears throat> Dumba, 87. Nah. Brodeen, higher. They're not having a great... Nah, that's fine. That's fine for me. He did sign the extension. All right, Brodeen, 84. Fine. All right, Brodeen, 84. So Fiala, Parise, Spurgeon, and Brodeen. That's enough for them. That's enough for them. Uh, and goaltenders, Cam Talbot and Staylock. That look good? It's fine. Talbot, 85. You're crazy. You are crazy. Uh, all right, so Montreal Canadiens. Here we go. Now, this is going to be an interesting team. Gallagher, Drew Wen, Tatar, Suzuki, Toffoli, Dano, Kutkanyemi. My God, EA Sports. What are you guys on, man? Who does these roster updates? Anderson. Anderson, I'm going to make an 85. All right. Uh, Corey Perry, I'm going to make an 82. All right. Fucking hell, EA Sports. You're trash. Uh, what else we got? Evans, I'll make like an 80. All right. Actually, no, I'll leave Evans. Toffoli, what are we making Toffoli? 85? Toffoli, 85. Uh, Suzuki is elite. Mm. Hang on, slow it down, boys. Gallagher, 86. Galley, 88. Toffoli, 86. Anderson, 83. Tatar, 87. So, yeah, so I'm just going to put up depth. A bunch of their players need to get upgraded. Uh, got it. Suzuki, medium elite. You guys want... Nah, he doesn't need medium elite. Shut your mouths. Suzuki elite. They already have Kutka and Yemi at medium elite, though. Who's better then? They got one of them. They didn't get two of them. You telling me that, that Montreal has two center uh, uh, superstar players on the same level as, like, Austin Matthews? Because medium elite means, like, the top guys. High, high top six, medium top six are good players still. They can get to 88, 89 overall. When you go medium elite, they're getting up to like 92, 93. You're telling me Suzuki and Cook and Yemi? Suzuki is better? Okay, so let me switch around uh, Suzuki. Suzuki. Cook and Yemi. Potential switch. All right. So Suzuki is your medium elite centerman. Cook and Yemi is going down to medium top six. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, defenseman, what do we got here? Shea Weber, Petrie, Joel Edmund Edmondson can get increased for sure. Uh, Edmondson. Go 84 for him. Uh, Charot can go up. 82, maybe. 83, all right. Uh, Petrie, 88. Nah, 86 is good for Petrie. Uh, what about Shea Weber? 88, should we give him like a 90? I mean, he's still getting it done. Weber, okay. Weber, 89. Got it. Uh, and then Romanoff, Romanoff, Romanoff. I'll just go him to 80, 81. All right, got it. And then goaltender, what do we got here? Uh, Tuka Rask was 90. Markstrom was 90. What do we got? Price is good, but Allen better. Yeah, Jake Allen's been a good backup. All right, got it. Allen, 84, 83. 83 is good. All right, there's Montreal. Got it. Save. Next up, we got the Nashville Predators. A shitty team here. Forwards. Uh, Forsberg, yeah. Like, fuck Duchesne, man. Like, 
Come on. Duchesne and Yo Johansson should be like 83s. I'm sorry. Let me just lower these fucks. Yeah. Duchesne and Johansson. Down to 83. That's good enough. All right. There you go. See, this is what I mean. Like, Duchesne is 85 and Kessel's 85. Like, shut the hell up, EA Sports. That is sacrilege to compare Duchesne to a two-time Stanley Cup champion that's made it work on multiple teams. Fucking hell, man. Uh, Kessel, Johnny Kessel, five and sucks. Yeah, whatever, man. Uh, Arvidsson, Johansson, Grandland. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Anybody? I think we're good. Yeah, that's fine for right now. Harvardson 87? Nah, nah. Remember, Nashville's not having a good season here, boys. Roman Yossi, they have their strong defensive core still. They have Roman Yossi at 90, Ryan Ellis at 86. Should Ellis be a little bit better? If Shea Weber's 89, should Ellis be like an 87, 88? Eighty-seven, yeah, because that's where their strength comes from. It's their blue line. Eighty-seven, got it. Roman Yossi, ninety-one. Do you want Yossi to be increased as well? Okay, Yossi is fine. All right, got it. All right, so that's that. Goaltenders, Saros and R Rene. Yeah, I think that's fine. Eighty-four, eighty-three. It's the same thing as Carolina had. Uh, with the uh, Mrazic and Reimer situation. I think that's fine. Renee down. Nah, 83 is fine. He can still get it. He's not going to be great at 83, but he's still like uh, NHL. You know, he's still capable of playing an NHL game. I'm not lowering him to 70. No, that's fine. Askarov, those are the minors. We're not going to worry about them for right now. New Jersey Devils. All right, so forwards for New Jersey. Nico Hiche, Hughes, Gusev, Bratt. Now, New Jersey's not having a great year other than the goaltending. I don't want to increase them to the point where they're dominating that division, right? So, this is the problem. Hughes, 86. All right, so I will I will raise Hughes. Got it. Uh, Shara Govich. Okay. What should he be? I'll make him 82. Make him 82 to start. Just to start. 81? Got it. 81 is even better. Uh, McLeod, Merkley, Zaka, Zajac, Wood, Brat. Uh, should Brat be a little bit higher? Brat should be like 83. 83. Okay, that's good. Defenseman, Severson, Murray, Subban, Vat. I have no clue. Butcher, Kulikov, Ty Smith. Should he get an upgrade? And everybody else get a downgrade or something? Smith, 83? Yeah, I thought so. All right, so Smith, 83. But we got to give somebody a downgrade then because they're, you know, like Subban lower. It's really PK. Okay, Subban. Subban, man, I'll lower you to 82, bud. All right, uh, who else? Butcher, 81. Butcher, 81. Got it. Kolokov lower. Kolokov lower, yeah. 78. What else? Murray, Ryan, what about Ryan Murray, 84? Nah, that's fine. It's fine then. If you guys are saying 83, that's fine. If we, I'm not changing it by one. And then uh, Mackenzie Black, Wedgwood, Jesus. What do you guys think? Blackwood, 88. Blackwood, 88. All right, got it. Blackwood, 88. Wedgwood, 81. I'll give, uh, I'll give Wedgwood an 82. All right, so they have an 88 and an 82 overall goaltender now. There you go. So their, their strength is going to come from the, 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 the goaltenders. All right, that's that. New Joey's, I mean, not New Jersey, uh, the New York Islanders. Matthew Barzell, 87. Uh, that might need to be improved a little bit. 88, 89. What do you guys think about Barzell? Barzell, 89. Okay, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Barzell, 89. Got it. Uh, Anders Lee, that's fine. Jordan, that's fine. That's fine. Those are all fine. That's fine. That's fine. Zizekis, Skolmarov, Del Col, uh, Timoshev, Buttercup, Martin, Kiefer Bellows. What, what do we got? Nelson. Barzell, Zizekis, Pajot, higher. 
Mm, they got uh, they got enough depth on this team to do some damage. Like they already have. Remember, it's the it's the, it's the team game. It's not like Bovillia eighty four. Nah, I'm not doing that. Nah, that's good. Uh, defenseman, uh, Letty, Pulak, Pelic, Dobson, Mayfield. There's definitely some improvements that could happen here. There's definitely some improvements that could happen on the blue line. What do you guys think? Pelic eighty six. So Pelic and Pulak, these two. All right. So I'll give uh, I'll give Pulak an eighty six. All right, and I'll give Pelican 84. So the both those two defensemen went up by two. Pope, Pulak, and Pelic. What about Dobson, Mayfield, and Letty? Dobson 83. Dobson 83. Got it. Dobson 83. Got it. Letty and Mayfield. Letty drop. Letty, should we be dropping Letty? Mayfield 82. Eighty-two. And Letty down. Alright. And Letty, I'll make him 83 as well. All right, so Pulak, Pelic, and Mayfield and Dobson all went up, but their best defenseman, Letty, went down. So they have now an 86, an 84, an 83, an 82, an 83. So it's still very good depth. They just have depth with a Matthew Barzell. And then Varlamov, how good? 86, that's, that's, that's a good spell, right? That's a good goaltender. You guys think 87? 88? 87 for Lar Okay, Varlamov can go to 87. Varlamov, 87. Got it. All right, so they're the Islanders. Islanders got a good boost. Next up, we got the New York Rangers. All right, so uh, Panarin, 91. <sighs> Should we be lowering Panarin? I mean, that's crazy, right? They're just having a bad year. What do we do here? Because he's, 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 he's way up there now. I know he's a great player, though, so that's what I want. Panarin is fine. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Just because they're having a bad seed, that like I was saying with Bobrovsky, I don't want to lower them too much. So Benajad, Strom, Ryan Strom can go down. Yeah, or yeah, Ryan Strom. Strom, I'll make an eighty-two. Uh, Buchnevich, Kreider, Lafreniere. Lafreniere should only be like an eighty, to be honest. Sorry, guys. Eighty. He's good, but he's not. He hasn't like he hasn't clutched it up in the NHL just yet. So I'm making him eighty. Uh, Capo Caco, maybe a little bit, a little bit better. Now nah, I'll leave him at 80 as well. Uh, Neil Blackwell. Yeah, you know, they're not a good team right here. Capo Caco 82. Now nah, I'm going to leave him the way it is. I'll leave him exactly the way it is. D'Angelo should have a 70 defensive awareness and a zero discipline. <laughs> uh, Kreider, Buchnevich, Strom, Zabinijad. Yeah, that's good. Uh, defenseman. All right, so this is an interesting one. Tony D'Angelo got shit on, man. 81. <laughs> oh, what do you guys think? Truba still the best defenseman? What do you guys think? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fox, so you want Fox up there. All right, so I got Fox. I'll make Fox an 86. All right. Uh, Trubo, what should we, Truba? Truba's, let me drop Truba to an 84, Ryan Murray numbers, where he could still come back, it's just the, 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 what's it called, the contract, that's rough, but Truba's still, I'm gonna make him an 84, uh, Fox an 86, uh, Fox is way better, alright, Fox an 87, got it, there you go, uh, D'Angelo, are you guys fine with D'Angelo being 81, Lynn Green, 80, Hey, Yek, 80. So, some of their defensive depth. All right. D-man depth. Got it. I'll make them better. 82, Miller. Yeah, I got them better. Don't worry, boys. I'll make them better. I'll make them better. Miller, 81. Got it. Miller, 81. Got it. Got it. Delete D'Angelo. Okay. D'Angelo. Uh, let me make him like 77 overall free agent. All right, with his same potential, so he can come back from it. But I'm gonna put him in free agency. Delete his ass? No, 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 no. Why? Why delete him? Why you guys can, don't participate in cancel culture? All right, Jesus. I mean, Michael Vick came back and was allowed back into the NFL. You guys are gonna delete him forever? Just never again? He's not allowed to play? Relax. My God, he just punched his goalie in the face. <laughs> and I heard he's a bit of a dickhead. But my God, man. Uh, all right. So that's that. What about the goaltender situation? Uh, Shosturkin and Gorgiev. What do you guys like about that? What do you not like about that? Shosturkin, 84. All right. Huh. 
No way, I shouldn't go D'Angelo to free agency because they still have to have his contract. Yeah, so I'm just going to lower D'Angelo to 77. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he doesn't go to free agency because that would free up $4 million for the New York Rangers. Hell no. All right, uh, both 84. Both goalies 84. Gorgiev 84 as well. Are both goalies even? No shot, says Hope. Okay, so Shesterkin's better. All right, Gorgiev is 81. All right, so Hope is even saying. So I'll go uh, I'll go uh, Shesterkin, 85. And Gorgiev, 82. All right, there you go. Yeah, there you go. All right, very nice. Moving on. Next up, the Ottawa Senators. Oof, what do you guys think? <laughs> Just a downgrade? Downgrade all of them? Kalchenyuk, 77. Yeah, I got it. All right. Uh, Ottawa, depth lower. Got it. Stutzel up. Uh, Stutzel is... He's for nah, 81 is fine. He's not going off. Uh, Chabot, Saitsev, Colburn, Riley. Chabot, good at 87. Fine. Yeah, he's a good skater. 90 overall? Nah, nah, nah. He'll be, he'll get better. I think 87 overall is just fine. And then goaltenders. Matt Murray, 83. Should we drop him to like an 82? <laughs> Murray 81, oh man, rough, yeah, I'll leave him at 81, oh my god, that's rough stuff, man, Galchenyuk got traded, yeah, well, I can make some final trades before we, don't worry about that, uh, I'll, I'll go to the trade tracker before, all right, Philadelphia Flyers, Giroux 88, Couturier 88, Voracek 86, JVR 85, Konechny 85, Hayes 84, blah, 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 what do you guys think about their forward core? JVR 87. All right, so hang on. JVR. Move JVR up to an 86, not an 87. Farabee. How good should Farabee be? Farabee 85. I'll move him up to 84, not 85. Uh, what else? Hayes 87. How good is that? Hayes. Uh, Provorov should be 89 and Farabee should be 84. All right, so I already got you on Farabee. Hayes. 86. All right, 86 for Hayes. Got it. Uh, 85 for Konechny, Voracek, Couturier. Should Couturier be better than Giroux? Should Couturier be an 89 just to lead Giroux by an inch? Like to say, like, listen, I'm the new face. Do like Coots be, yeah. All right, I'll give Coots uh, an 89. All right, but Giroux stays at 88. Giroux's still a stud. I don't care. Uh, Nolan Patrick, should we remove the medium elites? What should we do with Nolan Patrick? Low elite? All right. You still have time. Yep. So I'll go low elite then. He's got a low chance to make it. Got it. All right. There are the forwards. Defenseman. Provorov. All right. So this guy. Provorov, 89. Is everyone else Is everyone else okay with that or is that too high? Provorov, 89. People are saying to go up there. Yeah. 88. 89. 89 is too high. Way too high. Well, Weber's an 89. So yeah, okay. We'll go. We'll go 80. We'll go 80. We'll go 88 for Pro for all. Ah, yeah, we'll go 88. That's fine because he's already 23 years of age. 88's good. Uh, what about the next defenseman? Anybody else who should be up there? That Philip Myers guy. Morgan Frost, 80. Now we're on defense now, boys. Gosh, the spear lower. Lower ghost to spear, all right? Uh, a lower ghost to 81. There you go. Who else? Sandheim, 85. What about that Myers guy? Sandheim, 85. Myers, 83. Got it. All right, that's good. And then Kata Hot. How good is Kata Hot? 86. Best goalies right now are 90. 90 overall for Markstrom, 
Carey Price, and Tuka Rask. Good at 86. 86 is good because he's going to grow. Fair. It's fine now. No, he's fine. All right, got it. So I'll leave 86. Oh, let's give him an 87. Let's give him an 87. Heart 87. All right, there you go. Very good. Next up, let's go the Pittsburgh Penguins. All right, interesting one. McDavid was the highest at 90, what was it, 97? What should Crosby be? Uh, uh, McKinnon was 94. Pasternak was 93. Kane was 92. McDavid was 97. What should Crosby be? 94, so McKinnon and Crosby are the same. Crosby's not getting a, a nod over M McKinnon at all. Not giving him a 95 or a 96. 90, my God, you guys are crazy. I'm giving him a 95. It's Crosby for fuck's sake. 95, all right. Malkin. So McDavid was 97 and Dreisaitl was 93, I think. Crosby's 95. What should Malkin be? Crosby is not 95. Yeah, all right, sure. Malkin is not fine at 91. All right, so Malkin at 91. Jake Gensel, what about all these other guys? Should we just leave them the way they are right now? 89, he's been shit. It's the team that's shit. Like I said, it's like Panera with the Rangers. I'm not lowering them. Get the hell out of Crosby Sim. Shut your mouths. Shut your damn mouths. So lower the depth, or I can just leave it the way it is. McKinnon is better than Crosby. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just no love for Crosby, man. All right, I'm going to leave that the way it is. Defenseman, Latang. Interesting. What should we do with Latang? Then that Joseph guy. Joseph's got to get a boost. All right, so Joseph needs to be like an 82, 83. All right, and then Latang. What are we putting Latang? Latang was an 87. Latang down to like an 85. 85. All right, got it. Latang, 85. Got it. All right. Uh, Marino, 84. All right, they did sign him. Marino, 84. Got it. Uh, Dumlin, Pedersen, Matheson, CC. Yeah, that looks good. Very nice. And then the goaltender situation. I mean, what do you do with these two? Is uh, DeSmith, Casey DeSmith, better than Tristan Jerry? Both go down. <laughs> All right. Just leave them both. I mean, 83 overall is not that good. So, yeah, I'll leave them. That's like Pekka Rene numbers. All right. So, there's the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now, nah, San Jose Sharks. Got to shit on these guys. Uh, let me just save it again. Couture, Hurdle, Timo Meyer, Vander Kane. Yeah, that's about that, – that, that's good for me. That's good for me. That team's going to go nowhere with this lineup. Leave them. I mean, the, Couture's still good. Hurdle's good. Timo Meyer's good. Vander Kane's still got some hockey in him. LeBanc, but then after that, it just drops off. So I'll leave that. That's fine. Uh, defenseman. Now, here are these two. Carlson. What do we do with Eric Carlson? Do we just say he's done? He's not going to come back? Are we going to give him a decent number where he can jump back? Oh, what do we do? And who is better, Burns or Carlson? All right, so I'll go Carlson down to 86. There you go. Burns is better. So then I'll leave Burns at 87. Burns is shit. I had a, I saw Burns have a nice goal the other night. All right, both 86. All right, Burns and Carlson are both 86 now. So the San Jose Sharks, you know, Couturier, yeah, Couture, sorry, is 86. Burns is 86, and Carlson is 86. Vlasic, Vlasic 81. Now I'll leave Vlasic at uh, 84. That's fine. Vlasic, Vlasic effing sucks. All right, so Vlasic down to an 83. There you go. Man, you guys, you guys are rough on the San Jose Sharks. And then Dubnik and Jones, 83, 82. Sound good? Ah. Jones down, Jones, 80. All right. Sorry, Martin Jones. You're getting shit on, buddy. Down to 80 overall. My God. All right, there you go. I'll leave Dubnik up at 83. That's fine. 
Uh, 83 seems to be the number that it's a goalie who can play, but not quite good enough like Rene and uh, Reimer. Uh, 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 we got Martin Jones now. I'll keep that. I'll keep that 83 as like the starting goalie for shit uh, for shit teams. All right. Uh, the uh, St. Louis Blues, Ryan O'Reilly, 90. That's your demo. Oh, here we go. I'm a bum crust. Hey, John, took my midterm without studying, but I'm guaranteed to score between 84 and 104% thanks to bonus marks. Also, my date wasn't a bum crusty and you didn't reject me. And didn't reject me, which is a relief. Looking forward to all your content. And John is a bum crusty. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, all right. So what are we doing here with these guys? Ryan O'Reilly. We're leaving at uh, 89. 90 for Ryan O'Reilly. All right. O'Reilly, 90. Got it. Tarasenko, Perron, Shen. So Perron and Shen, 87. So they just need some... Okay, hang on. There you go. Hoffman, Schwartz, Cairo, Thomas, Sanford, Barbashev, Blay, Sunfist. What do you guys think? Anyone in there? Cairo up to an 84? Cairo. All right. Uh, he's already 83. That's fine. Stop with the one. Stop with the one ups, boys. Stop with the one ups for depth. I'm not doing that. Sunfist in 82? Uh, all right. All right. There are the forwards. Defensemen. What are we doing here? Pareko, Falk, Dunn. Top four. Krug, Pareko, Falk, and Dunn. What are we doing? Pareko, 88. Falk, 86. Got it. So Pareko, 88. Falk, 86. Krug, and then what about Vince Dunn? Dunn, 84. Got it. And then Tori Krug. Krug is fine at 87. Krug is fine. All right. So there's the defensive core. Uh, goaltenders. How good is uh, Jordan Bennington in this? 86 is, a, it's a good number is 86. 84 is about the lowest you can get away with. So if we want them to have a good season, we're going to need him around 86. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. Good. Yeah, remember, it's not just about the player. It's about the team and how they simulate. Tampa should have a fine team. Kucherov, 92. Stammer, 90. Point, 89. Sorelli, Tyler Johnson, Kaloran, Palat. What do you guys think there? Mar Marion Gabrick's on the team. What do you guys think? Don't want to make them too OP now, remember? Kucherov, 95. Hmm... 92 is on the same level as Patrick Kane. Pasternak is a 93. McKinnon is a 94. So how good is Kucherov in comparison to those guys? Crosby, 95. Mal Malkin, 91. Kane, 92. 93 for Kuch. All right, Kucherov's 93. Kucherov, 93. Braden Point. What are we making Braden Point? Braden Point better than Stammer? Or should we be the same as Stammer? 90. Point 91. All right. Braden Point, 91. Uh, Sorelli, Tyler Johnson, Palat. I think the depth is fine because these guys get their points from being on just such a good team. So, Sorelli, 87. No, no, no. Relax. 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 It's fine. It's fine. They'll get better as they have good seasons, guys. It's just about these, uh, these top tier guys. Tyler Johnson, he's got low elite. He'll grow if he needs to. Don't worry. Yeah, all right, so that's good. Uh, Braden Point's 91, Stammer's a 90. Uh, defenseman, Victor Hedman in the 91. Uh, should we make Victor Hedman a little bit better? Ryan McDonough, Sergachev, what do you guys think? Hedman, 93. Got it. Hedman, 93. What else? Sergachev, 86. Got it. Sergachev, 86. McDonough at 88. No, I think McDonough at uh, McDonough at 86 is fine. Cernak? Yeah, Cernak needs to be. Yeah, that's one that needs to be raised. Cernak at 80. I'll put him at 81 just to get him up there. All right, Luke Shen at 77 is fine. Uh, Ruda, yeah, that's all fine. And then Andre Vasilevsky, the best goalie in the NHL at 91. Rask, Price, and uh, Markstrom were all at 90. Is Vasilevsky the best goalie in the NHL? 91. 
92, huh? Well, that means we're jumping because we only have goalies at 90 overall. Now, nah, I think 91 is good. I think 91 is good because just the way we've uh, marked up everybody else in the NHL, I think 91 is fine. Uh, Toronto. All right, so I don't need any help on this one. Uh, Matthews. Now, Pasternak. McKinney. I think Matthew should be somewhere around 93, man. I do. I think he should be somewhere around Pasternak and McKinnon area. He should be he should be somewhere around 93, I think. I don't think he's up there yet. I think he's got a lot to learn still. But he's either a 92 or a 93. What do you guys think? 91 is fair. 91 is Patrice Bergeron, though. Brad Marchand was 92. Pasternak was 93. Kane was 93. I think Matthews is around that same area, 93. So I'm going Matthews, 93. Yeah. Just based off of how we've uh, we've we've made other teams, Marner. Hmm. Yeah, Marner at ninety one is fine. Tavares at eighty nine is fine. Nylander's fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Wayne Train could actually get a little bit of an upgrade. Wayne could get uh, like eighty three. Uh, Kerfoot. Yeah, Mikheyev could get an eighty three. Ah, eighty two. Let's not go crazy. Spezza, VC, Engvall, Paton, Boyd, Barbanov, Robertson. Uh, nah, you're not even playing. That's fine. That's good. Homer, Homer. What do you mean Homer? I made two. I mean three players better than you've not seen the Leafs record this year in the NHL. You fucks. Morgan Riley, 87. Jake Mosin, 85. TJ Brody. No way, he's 82. Brody's 83. Dermott. Yeah, that's fine. Justin Hall's an 83. Uh, Sandine, yeah, all right. Lettinen, uh, that's fine. Hole potential. Dude, have you guys not seen Hole, what he's done this year? He's much better than an 81. Shut the hell up. Bogosian, uh, yeah, Bogosian could be a little bit better as well. Bogosian, yeah. Bogo, 81. All right, and then, uh, Frederick Anderson, how good? So, with, um, Vasilevsky at 91, Markstrom, Price, and Rask at 90. Anderson, 89? I think he should be 89, man. I think he should be one step below those guys. He shouldn't be up there with the top tier, but I think he should be up there. Freddie, 89? Yeah. There you go. And remember, guys. Hang on a second. Let me just let me just bring this up. Remember, it's not about the players, right? It's about the, uh, the team. And right now, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let me just go to the standings. The Toronto Maple Leafs in 14 games are 11-2-1. Come on, we should upgrade them here for this GM mode, shouldn't we? You're so biased. Ale I, I just told you their record. I just told you their record. Bad division. Okay, so be it. So then Montreal sucks too, right? Like, I, 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 man, I love you guys. You guys are hilarious, man. All right, whatever. Moving on. Vancouver Canucks. Time to shit all over Vancouver. Uh, Pedersen, 89. Brock Besser, 86. JT Miller, Bo Horvat, Pearson, Furland. Garbage team. Garbage team. Gob, no depth for uh, this team. Uh, Pedersen's good. Yeah, those guys are all fine. Horvat. I'll leave the top four. They're fine. All right. I'll leave their top four. Uh, uh, defenseman. Quinn Hughes, 87. Alexander Edler. What do we do with their defensive core? Hoglander, get us. Oh, hang on. That's a good, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, all right. Hoglander can get up. 82. And what about their defense? Lower everyone on the defense? Yeah, I think Quinn Hughes is a little bit too good. Like, he's going to be good, but he's he's too good right now as an offensive defenseman in this. I've seen some mistakes. Hughes could be like an 84, 85 with really good offensive stats. But, like, he's got – that's Morgan Riley-like numbers. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Shea Weber was 89. Provorov is 88. Quinn Hughes at, at 87. So I'm going to lower their whole, like, depth. Lower defensive D-man depth. All right? I'm going to lower everyone on their D-man. Just a little. Maybe one or two. Uh, Edler 8 and 84. Leave Quinn. What? I'm going to leave his potential, but 87 overall? Get the hell out of here, man. Uh, and then goaltenders, Braden Holtbitch. What do we do? 82, 83. I'm going to give him an 83. I'm going to give Holtby an 83. Yeah, that's that's as low as I'm willing to go with those starting goalies. 83. So he's got the same as like a Pekka Rene, uh, a Koskinen. You know what I mean? Like 83. That's fine for me. 
Uh, next up, we got the Vegas Golden Knights. All right, got to boost these guys. Stone, Pacioretty, Marcheseau, Carlson, Riley Smith, Tuck, Glass, Stevenson, Carrier. What do we got here, boys? Who should go up, up front? Stone, 90. Yeah, let's make these guys better. I agree. Stone, 90. Uh, Pacioretty, Marcheseau, Carlson, Smith, Tuck. I, like, I want to make Smith better. Smith could be like an 85. Tuck could be like an 85. How good is Cody Glass? Glass played at all this year? How good can I make Cody Glass? Because that's a young guy up front. Cody Glass, 82. Okay, good. Glass, 82. Uh, Stevenson. Patch what's Patch already? 86? I mean, I don't want to turn him into like a 40 goal score. You know what I mean? Like, what should it, Patch 87? 88? 88 for Patches? All right. Give him an 87. Yeah, I'll give him an 87. Stone is the main guy. He's good. 87. All right, there you go. Uh, defenseman, this is where we can really improve them. Petrangelo, Theodore, McNabb. What do you guys think about these? Improve their defense. Uh, uh, Patrick Demko. Raise Demko to 83. He's hope he's equal. Uh, okay. Patrick Demko and Thomas Chabot, 98. How are you going to preach not worrying about moving people up plus one, yet you do that for the Leafs? How are you going to preach not worrying about moving people up plus one, yet you do that for the Leafs? What do you mean? It's because I knew it. I didn't have to wait for you guys to talk. I could take care of it right away. That's all. The Leafs just needed a little bit of an upgrade because their team is doing so well. What the hell, man? People are people are so petty coming after me. Good God. Theodore 90, Theodore 88, Theodore 89. All right, so let me go Theodore. Theodore 88. There you go. What else? I got him. I got Theodore at 88. He's there. What now? White Cloud up to 80. White Cloud up to 80. Got it. Anything else? Anybody like McNabb, Holden, or, or uh, Martinez? Martinez, 84? Nah. Good now. Make full Horvat, 87 or 88? Nah, I'm not going to do it. Too bad. Uh, and then the goaltender situation. Should I make one of these guys better than the other? What do we do? Good. All right. So if Rat, okay. So if Vasilevsky's 91, Rask, Price, and Markstrom are 90, Anderson is 89. Where should Robin Lehner be? 87, 88, 89, 90. How good is Robin Lehner? 88. So he's one step then below Anderson, and then Flurry can be 87. All right. So I'll move Lehner up to 88. So he's the real goalie, and then Flurry is the backup at 87. All right. Good. Got it. I'm leaving 87 for Fleury. I don't care. I think Fleury's good. All right. Laner's 88. Fleury's 87. Got it. Next up, we got uh, the Washington Capitals. Good team here. Good team. So Ovechkin, Crosby, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, McDavid's 97. Crosby's 95. McKinnon's 94. Uh, uh, Kane, Pasternak, Matthews are 93. Where are we throwing Ovi? I think Ovi should be 95, man. Ovi should be just as uh, just as good as Crosby. Maybe even 96 because he's getting those goals still. OB96, better than Crosby? I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. So McDavid, 97. Cro uh, 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 OV 96 Crosby, 95. All right, got it. Remember, it's not just about the player. If we make OV better, uh, um, uh, Washington will have a much better season. So Ovechkin, 96. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. 96, whatever. Uh, what about the rest of their team? Verana? Verana, 87? Yeah, Verana. Not, not 87. 86 is good for me. Uh, Tom Will, fuck Will, yeah, let's, let's give Wilson a real good number here, what would you guys say Wilson is, come on, he fucking, he's a big body, like, I, I think Wilson should be like an 88, man, <laughs> like, I really do, like, I know it sounds crazy, but he fucking performs, man, and it's all physicality, Wilson should be up there, man, Wilson should be a top tier player for them, 87, so what is he all right now, 84, all right, 87, I can handle that, 87 then for Tom Wilson, all right, there you go, uh, Kuznetsov and Backstrom. So Kuznetsov was an 89. Uh, Marner was a 91. Should we be making Kuznetsov and Backstrom a little bit better? Backstrom 90. Kuz is a 90. So Backstrom and Kuz 90. Got it. Got 
Got it. All right. Uh, Oshi, Wilson, blah, 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 blah. So they need some depth. Should I just raise their depth as well? I mean, Ovechkin, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should I just raise their depth? Depth and depth raise. Got it. Defenseman, Carlson, 91. Uh, Justin Schultz, Zidane Chara, Orloff. What do we got here, boys? Just depth? Night Strike, Johnny, you biased fuck. Give all the upgrades to a team that hasn't won a playoff series in years and not give JT Miller at least 88. P.S. Hughes is leading the defense uh, league in points. Oh, my God, man. These, these salty Vancouver Canuck fans, man. Get the hell over it, all right? You live in the same city as that EA headquarters. You ain't getting any kind of success over there. Deal with it. Deal with it. Deal with it. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What am I doing, boys? Dude, your ratings are so bad. Whatever, man. Uh, Schultz, Char. All right, so I'm just going to get raised depth forward and D. Got it. All right. Uh, Washington Capitals. Oh, wait. Goaltender. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> Samsonov. How good are we making Samsonov? How good is he? Hank, 99. Shut the hell up. 85 max? All right, so 85. We'll start him low. 85. So he's better than uh, Lundqvist, and he'll help that team grow. All right, got it. Next up, Winnipeg. Interesting team here. Shifley, 89. Wheeler, Kyle Connor, Pierre-Luc Dubois, Ehlers, Little Stashny. I mean, they're going to have a good team. They're going to simulate well. This team is going to simulate well the way it is right now. So I just want you guys knowing that. This team is already going to simulate well. Like, and if we, if we raise them anymore, man, we might turn them into a dynasty. So we got to be careful here. Shifley, 91. Uh, he's, he's, he's good, but 80, I think 89 is good for uh, Shifley. Wheeler, like, this is already a real good team, man. Kyle Connor, Pierre-Luc Dubois, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is already a real good team. Ehlers up, 87. All right, Ehlers, I'll listen to you there. Ehlers, 87. All right. Should Stashney get a boost as well? Stashney 84. I'll give him an 83. There you go. Cop? Yeah, Cop needs to. Give him an 83 as well. Uh, Thatcher Demko, sorry about my fellow Canuck fans. It's been a tough year for us, but you were still a bum crusty. Yeah, you know what? I forgot about that. The, the Vancouver Canucks just witnessed the Toronto Maple Leafs absolutely destroying them, showing showing what an actual NHL contender looks like. I forgot about that. They're just salty. They're just salty. They witnessed what it's like to actually see a good team on the ice. Oh. And they lost their goaltender to the Calgary Flames. Oh. And no one wants to play there. Oh. And EA Sports is located. Oh. And they got the Pacific Ocean. Oh, my God. Garbage. I'm sorry, Vancouver fans. I completely forgot about all that nonsense. F you, John. F you, John. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right. So we got cop. Very good. <laughs> Who knows what that Pacific uh, salt water does, man? It makes them all salty. I got fresh water, Lake Ontario, baby. <laughs> you, you guys be too salty over there. All right. Uh, next up, we got defensemen. Let's see. Hmm. Morrissey, Pionk, Forbert, Niku, Bobillier, or Bolu. What do we got here, boys? Johnny, chill. Keck W. All right. Will do. Niku better. All right, so Niku to like an 82. Got it. Uh, Petrie is a legit Norris debate. Second in points and most plus minus. I love you. I love and respect Weber as a, as a Habs fan, but the last three years, Petrie has just been better than him offensively and just as good on defense. And please fucking change him to an offensive defenseman. All right, my God. All right, so hang on a second. What did I do for Montreal? Let me just go back to Montreal for a second. Did I not touch Petrie? All right, I'll fucking move Petrie to an OD man. All right, deal with it. Mikkel Raven, technically, uh, technic technically fact, Toronto Maple Leafs have been cupless longer than the Vancouver Canucks. Whatever, man. What the hell ever. Ah, there you go. 
All right. So what else are we raising up here with our blue line? We doing anything? DeMello? DeMello up to an 82? All right. Got that. DeMello stays. I'll make him an 81 then. What about Morrissey and Pionk? Just their, their top guys. Because that does look a little bit weak, their blue line. They just got Morrissey to an eight-year deal, right? So what are we doing there? They're fine. They're fine. Hanola up to an 80. And Hanola. All right. So it's just depth for them on the blue line. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. And then this asshole right here. Man of Steel. I'll translate John for chat. All you plebs over at Vancouver can suck my Kryptonian slong. A bunch of bum crusty inbreds over there in Vancouver anyways. Bite my ass. Couldn't have said it any better. Contender, the least haven't won fucking round. Okay, what the Oh, you guys keep on going back to last year. Oh my god. Oh my god. They have, yeah, like what's what's it called? Ovechkin and Washington. They didn't win the Stanley Cup. They didn't make it past the second round until they did, and then they won the Stanley Cup. You know, the Leafs look like a team that might get past the first round this year. So we just gotta win a Stanley Cup, so then I can shut everyone up. Uh Darian Ranskin, they have Tom Wilson as a grinder. Can you change him to power forward so he fits in the team and doesn't get out of the bottom six? All right, uh, Wilson, power forward. Got it. Got it. All right, uh, man, 2011, the year the Canuck fans lost their fucking minds, man. Jesus, they haven't recovered since. Uh, Hellebuck, how good is Hellebuck? 90 overall? So, Vasilevsky was 91. What do we do with Connor Hellebuck? Is he the best goalie in the NHL? Is he tied with the best goalie? Or is he right there with Rask, Price, and Markstrom? It's fine. 90 overall. 90 overall. All right. So we'll keep uh, Connor Hellebuck right there. And uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We are done. Oh, my God. Daily reminder that the Leafs are the only time, uh, only team aside from the Panthers that have never that have never made it past a round once since the 2005 lockout. Whatever, man. Whatever, 2005, 15 years ago. You Be honest with me right now, Vancouver fans, all right? Would you rather have the roster that the Toronto Maple Leafs have or the roster that the Vancouver Canucks have? Just shut your fucking mouth. You know what I'm talking about. You know who's got the better team. Shut the hell up. Murph Dog, you're good, Johnny. Don't listen to these bum plugs. You're the best out there, brother. Yeah, who the hell would want fucking Vancouver? Uh, Tyson Joss is better than any Leaf player since 1967. And all of a sudden, some freaking Colorado Avalanche fan throwing some shade over there from the Rockies. Just go get high, buddy. Chill out. My God. All right. So there, here, uh, there are the rosters. Let me save them. Let me save them just so I have multiple save files of it. Uh, active roster. Uh, oh, my God. Shut the F up, retards. Vancouver sucks. My God. This is turning into a fight between fans in the Twitch chat right now. They're going at one another. Create new from active. Did you guys calm down? Oh, shit. Don't worry, John. I'll defend my. Yeah, I'll defend yourself. Vancouver wasted the careers of the Sedin twins and Luongo. Have fun wasting Hughes and Besser. Damn. That's right. The Sedin twins didn't even win a freaking Stanley Cup. Neither did Roberto Luongo. And they're talking shit about 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 the Toronto Maple Leafs. Give me a break. You guys had the chance to win the Stanley Cup and you pull, couldn't pull it together. Vancouver will win a Stanley Cup before Toronto. <laughs> Quinn Hughes is already better than any defenseman in Toronto history. You're jealous. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. These guys are wild. These guys are wild. All right, create new from active roster. I want two new ones. Yeah. All right, so I got two of these save files, baby. Uh, all right. Now, what we can do with the save file is go in and try a quick simulation just to see how it all plays out. Now, what we also want to do is start looking for different settings that we can have for our GM mode. All right. Uh, the only way you got this team is from sucking all the time. Hey, maybe you guys should try it out. Instead of trading for Louis Erickson and Brendan Sutter and JT Miller and keep on trading away your first-round picks and getting a, a bunch of plugs, bum-crusty plugs. Shut your mouths. All right, how many first-round picks do we have on our team? Uh, uh, Matthews, uh, Tavares, uh, Joe Thornton, uh, Morgan Riley. Uh, Mitch Marner would have been a first-round pick in a lot of different drafts. Uh, 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 who else on there? Jason Spezza was a second overall pick. Shut your damn mouths, boys. <laughs> all right all right uh okay so which team do you guys want to select just for fun oh my god 
The only way you got this team is uh, just remember you wasted Sundin. Yeah, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. Wasting Matt Sundin was a tough one. You're right. Uh, it doesn't matter if the Canucks or Maple Leafs are better. The Blues won a Stanley Cup before two of those bum-ass teams. <laughs> All right. Enough! We're getting, we're, we're turning on one another. We're supposed to come together. <gasps> they test me. All right, so Beta says, you know what? Here, I'll, I'll pick the Vancouver Shacucks. Oh, Shacuck? They're the Vancouver Cucks. I gotta come up with, gotta find a way to get Cucks in their name. The Vancouver Cucks? Yeah, you know, that'll, that'll freaking lie. There you go. The Vancouver Cucks. I will go and choose the Cucks right now, and we will try to, uh, we'll try to win the Stanley Cup with them. Now, hang on. For our next GM mode, should we do the actual divisions right now? So, like, the Metro could be the East, the Atlantic could be the North, the Central is the Central, and the Pacific is the West. Should we do that? You guys want to do that shit? Yes? Yes? All right, so let me try this. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? I need the Canadian teams. Winnipeg? There you go. Buffalo over here. Can I actually trade this, the nothing? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, so which division was the one with the least amount of teams in it? That was the North Division, wasn't it? So we're right here, aren't we? The Canadian team's got to be in the one with the seven, right? Yeah, all right, so we got to go to that side. So remember, this is just a beta test. Let's just try it out and see what happens, all right? Let's just try it out. Ottawa, Calgary, Edmonton, and... Uh... Missing. Who am I missing? Who am I missing? Who the fuck am I missing? Who am I missing? What the hell? Oh yeah, the Cucks. Forgot. There you go. Uh, I don't think of them Canadian. Man, mm. okay, so there you go. There's your North Division. Uh, the Pacific Division. Now, oh uh, man, what are they? who's in the Pacific Division? Is it... Okay, hmm. Okay, so let me do this division first. I know this division. Uh, oh, man. Uh, Tampa. All right, so wait. Tampa is in the central. Yeah. Okay, so Tampa is in the central. I need the I need the, the freaking west. So we got Washington. I need Boston. Boston's over here. Uh, Carolina's out. Columbus is out of here. Uh, New Jersey. Yeah, what's the one other team that's in the east, guys? Florida? No. They're in the central. What's the one more team in the east? Oh, I forget who it is. The it's in Buffalo. Yes, yes, sorry. Yes, Buffalo. There it is. All right, so Buffalo for Columbus. All right, so there's the Eastern Conference. Boston, Buffalo, New Jersey, New York, the Rangers, Philly, Pittsburgh, and Washington. Uh, the Central Division, Chicago, uh, Columbus, Detroit, Florida, Colorado, no. Uh, who's in the uh, St. Louis? Uh, Minnesota, Tampa, Dallas, no. Uh, Vegas, Carolina. Is that it? Is it like that? Hurricanes, Tampa, Minnesota, St. Louis, Florida, Detroit, Columbus, and, uh, Chicago. Are those the central? Minnesota, Kings. Not St. Louis. St. Louis for Dallas. Like that? And the Preds? Nashville for Minnesota. Okay. How's that? Sorry, guys. I know. I, the, 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 this is confusing. Good. 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 All right. So, Chicago, Columbus, Detroit, Florida, Dallas, Nashville, Tampa, uh, Carolina. You got your Canadian division, and then you got your Pacific division. Anaheim, Arizona, Minnesota, Colorado, LA, San Jose, St. Louis. Good. All right. So, we got it. Let's start it up now. Now, what do we want to do here? Is there any reason to have Fog of War on, or do you guys just like the way I've, I've, I've figured it out? Is it enough the way we figured it out, or do we want Owner Mode on, or anything like that? Nah? No Fog? Your way? Yeah, alright, so fuck you. Fantasy Draft, no. Salary cap on. GM firing off. Head coach at the lines off. Off. Player morale. What about player morale? Should we give it a chance, just to see how it plays out, or is that... No, is that useless, god-awful garbage that we don't need to try out? Morale? No morale. Test it out. It's just... The problem with the morale is like when you scratch players because they get injured and then they want to... You know what? No. What am I doing? What am I doing? It's so bad. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off. Computer trades, auto owner mode. All right. So that's that. All right. Now, here's where we can have some fun. All right. So... 
Uh, okay, so injuries. The one thing, we're going to increase the injuries, all right? That's one thing I'm going to do. I want more injuries per year, all right? I don't want to be taking it in autopilot each season. I want to be able to go month to month for each video where it matters. Uh, all right, so authentic app penalties, yes. Auto save, we're going to turn that off. Computer trades, difficulty, we're going to go back just to pro. Uh, that's the gameplay difficulty, not the simulation difficulty. Don't worry. Uh, trade difficulty, medium. I'm not making anything's hard. Uh, waivers on, except relocation. Fog of war is off. Auto scouting, yeah, sure. All right, so that's all good. And then advanced settings. All right, so what I will be doing is NHL return warning. It's going to be when they're fully healed. All right, so I don't have to actually put players in and get re-injured or what have you. Uh, minor league head coach, we're going to just turn that off. Auto rate to goalies, yes, on. Uh, now, what do we draw? What do we want to do here with the sim engine scoring? All right, because this is going to affect everything here. Do you guys have any good ideas? You want to try one with low, high? problem with high is that all the goaltender stats are going to be way low now that would make it even for the playoffs but uh you know when we get to the real time sim all of a sudden our goaltender stats are going to be all over the place do you want to try low all right so sim engine scoring is going to be low draft a uh, draft class quality can be medium Gen generate blah 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 now the sim the sim engine shot frequency so if you're already not scoring a lot you probably shouldn't be shooting a lot right because then if you shoot a lot, every goaltender is going to come into the league with a 920 save percentage and want a huge upgrade the next free agency. Like, we can't be having goaltenders, everybody with 922, they're going to ask for $9 million the next season. Medium? Shots high? Oh, God. I'll show you what you... Okay, we'll do it. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, though. Uh, authentic? Yeah, all right. That sounds good. Uh, okay, so I've just made a new decision. We're actually going to turn injuries off for right now. This is not the injury beta test. This is the statistical beta test. How the season plays out with all the stats, all right? So we're not worried about injuries right now. I'm not going to worry about injuries. Scotty8910, Johnny, make the trade notification to stars only so you don't get spammed. Ah, you know what, man? It's a good idea, Scott, but I, because we're telling a story here, the more information I have, the better, right? So even that they may not be star players, it gives me a reason to go and look at that team's lines, you know? Or, like, it's just... It, more information, more input is better for us. And uh, I'm also going to be simulating from this screen a lot more. So let's go to edit lines. Let's just see best lines. Let's see what they got. Uh, ba ba ba. Best lines, baby. Oh, my God. It's looking bad. Pedersen, two-way forward. Brock Besser, JT Miller. Rough stuff over here in uh, in Vancouver. Although, Quinn Hughes at 87 overall with a plus three. He might do some things. Braden Holtbitch, 84. All right. Very good. Now, let us save it right here. Shit team. I know, man. But they, 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 they think that they're freaking contenders or something. It's ridiculous. Uh, all right, so now let's go to the calendar. Oh, wait, I got to get rid of the trading block. Hang on. Let me just edit my trading block. Glitch. Fans are worse than the team in Vancouver, though. Trashing a city because they lost the cup. Well, I mean, I don't think they trashed the city because they lost the cup. I think it was just a lot of people used that as an opportunity to go and do something stupid. Human beings, when in large groups, can be made to do stupid things. And especially in a world where it's like, hey, look at me. Everyone wanted to take a picture of them behind a burning car or something. So, you know, you just got a bunch of stupidity out there. That's all that, that's all that was. Alrighty, so let us start it up. So we have those uh, new uh, sim settings on. I've changed the, the, uh, the what's it called, the trading block. Let's get the season done and just go through all the stats. Does, okay, question. Does this look different, the scheduling? The teams that you have to go up against? Like, because we changed up all the divisions... This just looks, it looks different to me. I don't know how to explain it. It just doesn't look like uh, the the right, I've played this so much. The schedule just looks different. 
<laughs> so that's going to be cool. So we're going to do that, right? Are you, I think that makes it fun for new playoff performances, new new teams, new rivalries. We're going to do that, right? We're going to do that for our next GM mode? Yeah? 100%? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, good. So let me just write that down. New divisions. Stay. Got it. Okay. All right, so let's simulate to the trade deadline and see what happens, all right? Boom. All right, Vancouver, what kind of season are you going to have here? <laughs> Maybe Quinn Hughes can lead them to the uh, to the playoffs. Who knows? Maybe I can win a Stanley Cup finally with Vancouver Canucks. Oh, what do you know? You lost 3 nothing to Toronto. Whoops. I guess the Toronto Maple Leafs are just the better team, Vancouver. Sorry. Oh, you beat Phil Kessel, though. There you go. Lost uh, Connor McDavid. Lost to, oh, uh, you beat the the Florida Panthers back-to-back. There you go. Oh, four-game winning streak. All oh, before you lose to the Washington Capitals. But you answer back again with another three-game winning streak. Ooh, Vancouver's having a decent season. Let's go. 15, 17-9-0. Uh, and 0. That's good, man. So, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just go and we can take a look at the standings at the end. Now, remember, the NHL season's only, what, like 14, 15 games in? Uh, so just because the standings look a certain way right now doesn't mean they're going to look a certain way at the end of the season. So you can't look at this and be like, oh, man, uh, uh, these uh, these rosters don't work. First off, we're going up against every team in the NHL. We're not just facing teams within our own division. So that's a little bit different than what you see in real life. But also, um, if we notice any team that really took off, uh, if we want to just lower their ratings, we can. All right. But let me just get to the end of the regular season before we do. All right, so we're at the trade deadline. I'm not making any stops. I'm still going all the way past the Arizona Coyotes. I just want to see what the uh, stats look like. Keep the current trade block. Continue simming. I don't care. Any trades happen? Here we go. Uh, to Edmonton goes Wenberg and Captain Keith Yandel for a first Broberg, McLeod, and Skinner. What are you doing, Edmonton, man? They go for the veterans by giving up the youngins. <laughs> Scott Harrington, no, I don't want you. All right, let's just keep on simming. So it looks like, so you guys said I made your team shit. Your team made the playoffs, so shut the hell up. All right, Vancouver Canucks are great in this simulation for some reason. So shut your mouth, Phyllis. What the fuck? We're like one of the best teams. We got 50 wins. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right, so the Canucks, the Maple Leafs, the Jets, and the Oilers with the Canadians in fifth, Flames, and the Senators. So Canucks might be a little bit too good. Uh, uh, Pedersen, way up there. But it also might be our head coach, right? Uh, we also didn't have any injuries on, so we didn't have to worry about our uh, our depth. But uh, I'm telling you, like our goaltender, it's because of the settings. I'm telling you, I think our goaltender just tore it up. I think Hopi had a great season. Watch all right, so hang on. Player stats. Let's see. Fucking hell, Pedersen. Phew. There you go. Quinn Hughes. There you go, boys. I dropped him, and he's still getting it done. Brock Besser, JT Miller, uh, defenseman, Hughes, Myers. Very good. And what about goaltender? See, this is the problem now. Now, when you get seasons like this from goalies, um, he's going to ask for like $10 million, right? You didn't drop him? You didn't drop him, you fool? Oh, I didn't drop, uh, what's his name? So hang on a second. So let's just see. The most wins on the season, right? Or the most games played. I'll just do this. 924, 911, 918, 921, 918, 919, 926, 925, 916, 913, 925, 922, 920, 921, 935 for Mackenzie Blackwood, 910, 919, 917. So this is the problem, right? Um... All these goalies are going to ask for huge raises in the offseason, I'm pretty sure. And this is why you can't do stuff like this. So hang on a second. Let me just see. Does Brayden Hope, did Brayden Hope only sign a one-year deal? Let me, let me see. I uh, hope he, no, he didn't. All right. So let me also take a look at the stats around the NHL for goal scoring. Way too high? Yeah, well, we'll, 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 work, we'll work with it. I can't even talk. All right. Uh, entire league. Let's see. So, the most points, Kuznetsov, Ovechkin scored, Marner, Crosby, what about, uh, what about, uh, McDavid? McDavid with 82 points. What do you guys think? Not a lot of goal scoring with this team. Only a few players above point per game. 
Yeah, I think we need more offense, man. I think we need more offense. So let me just show you guys what the result of having a goalie season gives you in the odd. Like, this is where it can got, it, you can break the system if you're not careful. Um, I think every goalie in free agency is going to want like $10 million because of the season they just had. All right, so here we go. Playoff run for the Vancouver Canucks. Round one up against uh, St. Louis. Uh, you're down 2-1 to one in the series. 2-2, two, 3-2. Two, two. Hey, you beat them. All right, next up, the Winnipeg Jets. Vancouver, we could do it together, baby. Oh, well, Connor hella shit beat you guys. Man, you couldn't score at all. 2-1, two, 2-1, one, two, one, one nothing loss against uh, Winnipeg. Bye. And the Tampa Bay Lightning are going to repeat. All right, so Tampa Bay, we've made them a good team, which is good. They should be like the final boss in the East. Uh, and let's go all the way up. Ottawa wins the draft. Calgary. All right, so here we go. Uh, so here's the playoff tree. Let me show you guys the playoff tree. You didn't edit anything. What are you guys taught? You didn't change anything yet. You haven't changed anything yet, right? What are you guys talking about? Nothing edited, John. Yeah, I know that. We're just looking to see the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning up there, 4-3 to three over the Anaheim Ducks. It's with the goal scoring and the and the uh, the goaltender and the high scoring and the low scoring stats, guys, with the new divisions. I'm trying to see who faces who in the playoffs. So in round one, Boston, Washington, Pittsburgh, and the, the Toronto Maple Leafs didn't even make the playoffs. <laughs> Is it because they weren't able to score? I gotta see this for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Hang on a second. Ninety five points, ninety points. Wait a minute. Oh, I was looking on the right side. I was looking at the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is all over the place. Right. So the Leafs now are on the left side. Okay. We lost against Winnipeg in round number one. Okay. I was, I was confused. Like, what? They didn't make the... John, you're blind. I'm sorry, man. I was looking on the right for Toronto. They're always on the right in the Eastern Conference. You guys are going to shit on me for that? My God, man. Good Lord. I've been... Uh, whatever. I've been doing this for two hours. They're going to they're gonna jump on me. Johnny, you actually didn't e edit any player yet. You bumped... Oh, my God. It's about the scoring! All right, so now we can take a look at the uh, the contract situation, right? There you go. Quinn Hughes jumped to a 90. Pedersen jumped to a 90. Goaltenders. See what I mean? Now, all of a sudden, Holtby's an 89 overall. You can't do it like this, man. You cannot do it like this. You cannot do it like this. So if I go around the NHL, right, and I player search, the second that the goalies have good regular seasons, they jump, man. They jump. We can't do it like this. Goalie, watch. Uh, search. All right. 92 for Vasilevsky, Price is 91, Bishop's 91, Shosturkin's 90, Flurry's 90, Gibson's 90, Hart's 90, Blackwood's 89, Hellebuck's 89, 89 for DeSmith is fucking 89, Kemper's 89, 89, 89, 89, 88, 88, 78, you know, see what I mean? It's because every goaltender had such a good season because we simmed the, uh, we turned down the goalie scoring, or we turned down the scoring, so every goalie had like an all-star season. This is where EA Sports really screwed the pooch with how the contracts are handed out now, you know, because well, what's the point? You can't mess around with sim engine scoring because if you do, it messes around with how players approach you for contracts. EA Sports, they make one, they try to make a, they try to do something, they try to add something, they end up breaking the whole system. So I'll just show you guys, I'll just give you guys a quick look-see. Just simulate the draft, fuck the draft. Sorry for swearing, don't mean to be swearing right now. Uh, but let's just now simulate up to free agency. I want to show you guys, advanced day. Advanced day, what the hell, whatever. What the hell, whatever. Advanced day. Advanced day. Advanced day. Advanced day. Advanced day. Advanced day. All right. So, we are in free agency. Quinn Hughes and Pedersen didn't get re-signed. Whoops. Taylor Hall. See what I mean? Now, now, Taylor Hall is only asking for 865 over seven years, right? The guy had a 70 point, a 72-point year, right? So, 
only asking for that much. Ryan Getzlaff's only asking for uh, seven and a half. Krejci, Dougie Hamilton's only asking for six and a half. And uh, what do you do then when you go to goaltenders? Let me see. Oh, yeah, Tuka Rask wants uh, eight million. Anderson wants seven and a half million. Olmark wants eight million. Uh, UC Soros wants 7.8 million. See what I mean? You've screwed up goaltender contracts by putting sim engine scoring low. That's the problem. That is the problem. So we cannot do it like that. So I'm going to exit without saving. We got to try it again. Got to try it again with a different setup here, okay? I'm not doing the knocks, don't worry. But you see what I mean when it's uh, like we can't have the sim engine scoring to low. So let's try a different combination. Shots high, scoring medium. Uh, Mike Deuce, I don't, I don't know yet. Hang on. Uh, settings. Who are you doing? Not going to ruin that just for you. Not yet. Injuries are off. Uh, how do I do it? Oh, uh, it's in the other it's in the other screen. Gameplay sliders? No. Shit, where is it? It isn't rules, isn't it? Fuck. There it is. Okay, so the sim engine scoring, let's put that to hmm, high, but then what about scoring high, but then shot frequency high? So they're getting a lot of shots, but they're also scoring goals. High and high. What do you think about that? So then maybe the best goalies can still keep the 922 save percentage, but then they're still goal scoring. No, no. Well, it's a beta test, man. It's not like we're making this decision. Relax. All right, so let's try high and high. Oh, here we go again. Thank God at least I have the Xbox Series X. Imagine we had to simulate through this. Oh, my God. That was the old school me having to do this shit. Oh, I didn't edit the trading block in the save file. Fuck you. You dumb shit. God, I suck. All right, there you go. Man of Steel 22. Guess I'll have to redo my dono. Oh, hang on. Uh, the Sedin twins can't hold Sundin's jockstrap. Waste of a franchise. No wonder Johnny couldn't win with them before. Edmonton are trying to top them, but it's hard to choke more than Mia Khalifa's career. Oh, my God. I don't... Okay. Jesus Christ. Hey, Johnny, do you eat ass? Oh, my God. I got people asking me if I toss salad in this fucking live stream. Uh, all right, whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. The craziest things happen when people are bored. Oh. All right, so with the new settings, let's see how the uh, Vancouver Canucks simulate. Do you shut? <laughs> oh, man, I should put on slow mode or something. You guys are going off, man. You guys are going, what's fat ass Phil Kessel up to? Because I have been missing a lot. 750, hell yeah. We almost got to 800 in one day, boys. To the gym mode commentaries, let's go. But then tomorrow, I'm pretty sure we're going to lose, like, 200 subs or something like that. Like, something crazy. <laughs> so, fuck. Fat-ass Phil Kessel is going to have to continue to eat, man. Uh, appreciate it. John, are you aware that you have not changed any... Oh, oh my God. I, I, okay, I'm done. I'm done after this. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to be trolled by you guys. Hell no. I'll come back and play some Rocket League later on tonight or some shit. There's no way I'm putting up with this nonsense. Can't do it. Can't do it, man. Any crazy trades at the deadline this time around? Uh, Ekholm, Spiza, Grimaldi to Boston, to Nashville goes a first, a second free for Ekholm. All right, Boston just loads up on the blue line. They got their center! The Montreal Canadiens acquire Jonathan Taves for a first and Brooke. They got their center. They got their center. Whoa. I got to take a look at this. Uh, Yandel and Duclair to Dallas. Yeah, I got to take a look at Montreal squad now. I got to look at it. I got to look at it. Uh, Montreal, uh, they're trying to make the playoffs. They're behind us by two points. They picked up Jonathan Taser. Let's see. Tays old as fuck. Nah, man. Tays is great. Montreal, let's see. Montreal Canadiens. Ooh, Drew in. Taves, Gali G, Byron, Suzuki, Tatar, Anderson, Dano. That's nice, man. They got their center 32 years of age. For how many more years? Three more years. It's... They got them to retain money on it as well? Damn. Got them to retain like 
three million or close to three million. So they get him for seven point seven for the next two and a half years. That's a great trade. Mark Bergevin doing business over there. Uh, now what about Carey Price? <laughs> Carry price save percentage. See what I mean? Now we flipped it the other way. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck! What's the right settings that we got to have it on, man? All right. Let's just get to the end of the season. I got I to gotta tell Remember, Montreal's not a playoff team. So if they're not a playoff team, so be it. When we raise the attributes of Montreal's squad, they'll be much better. So we got to take a look at the teams that are making the playoffs and what their goaltender stats look like. Hang on, boys. We're going to do this the right way. This is what this uh, live stream is about. Beta test, baby. We're going to actually beta test our uh, game, unlike EA Sports. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, a winning streak at the end. They missed the playoffs. Oh, no, no, no. All right, so the Senators won the division. Uh, Maple Leafs, Oilers, Flames, Canucks, Canadians. Oh, my God. Now, Pedersen still got point per game, essentially. So let's take a look at this. Uh, all right, so Pedersen, yeah, not a lot of goal scoring there. Defenseman. Yeah, Quinn Hughes went came down from 70 points and goaltender. All right. That's not that's not bad for an 84 overall goaltender. Now let's see. The guys who played the most games played. Vasilevsky, 909 save for Sasso. Yeah, this ain't good enough. See what I mean about the goalie stats now? And with these kind of stats, the goalies will only ask for like four or five million dollars per season, right? So now let's just go to the end. I just want to see, I just want to see the end of the regular season. Like, it's hilarious. EA Sports adds in new modes, new features, and it's just all broken. Everything's broken. Everything's fucking broken, man. And then they have the stupid players who want to get paid based on their performance, not based on how good they are. So you can have a medium elite franchise player who got scratched, and all of a sudden he only wants... Like, like remember my uh, uh, Nicholas Robertson? Eight times $2 million per year, and then turn him into an 86 over. Like, it's a... Ah, they're so bad. They're so bad. They don't know what the fuck they're doing, man. They're so fucking bad. I hope you're watching EA. You guys are trash. Carolina Hurricanes win the Stanley Cup. Check the league scoring. Um, okay, but I don't even care about the league scoring right now because the goaltender stats are down. So we, we already know that this doesn't work. But I'll show you the team standings uh, if you want. Hang on. The player standing, sorry. Yeah, there you go. So now you got guys who are, like, you got a bunch of players above 100 points. Bunch of players, like, yeah. So is that too much now? Too many players above point per game? Too much, too much. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. let me get to the, let me get to, yeah, let me sim to the draft. I just want to see the free agency class again and how much they're asking for. Got to do this the right way. I can just sim to free agency. Let's do that. Yeah, low score and medium shots with penalties to balance it. Yep, yep, yep. There's a lot that we can do here. Just give me a second. We'll figure it out. Not going to find that perfect spot, but... All right, so here we go. We're back at... Yeah, see, now it's the flip, right? Because all these guys scored so much, Nick Felino at 86 overall wants $10 million fucking dollars. Bufflin wants nine and a half. Uh, Hall now wants 9.3, which makes more sense for him based on the season that he had. Uh, Hughes wants nine. And Nuge wants nine. Everyone wants a lot more money now. Uh, and then I go to goaltenders. And yeah, see? Bennington, uh, five million. Grubauer, five million. Anderson, four million dollars. So you see what I mean? EA, you're so trash. You have these options on. It doesn't even fucking work. All right, so let's try. Let's try one more. Let's try one more. They're so bad. They're so bad. And the beta test. What is that? We've been the beta test. NHL 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's been a beta test every single fucking year. We're the beta testers. And we pay for it. We pay to be beta testing. It's great. Okay. Trade block. There's the trading block. 
Uh, now what are we doing? Excuse me. Um, rules. Okay. Hmm. All right. So sim engine scoring. What are we doing? We doing medium because they were scoring too many. Medium. Low scoring, medium shot penalties, medium scoring, high shots. All right, so now we're going to try medium scoring. I like that. And then the uh, high shots, all right? So lots of shots for the goalies to make some saves. Lots of shots so that maybe they can score. And then the sim engine is medium. All right, so we'll try that one out. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to mess around with the power play numbers. The power play is fine. I just want to get the I just want to get a good balance of goaltender and goal scoring based on attributes. That's all I'm looking for. That's all I'm looking for. It's interesting. That's why Vancouver had such a good first simulations because we didn't need to score goals. It was a defensive setup. Uh, and I guess with our team, we could play well defensively. But then when the game required you to score goals, that's when we didn't make the playoffs, right? So we're, we're, we're somewhere in the middle right here. Damn, Vancouver. 0-6 to start the year. Trash bag. Digital cash. Uh, Big D Mike 420. I effing hate EA. I wish 2K would give them some competition. Oh, my God. I know, man. 7-0. There you go. You got your first. 2-7. The worst hand in poker. Trash bag. Digital cash. 4-10. <laughs> Rough, man. It's like the real NHL. <laughs> EA Sim Engine is just random. <coughs> Well, we did the test. They're not completely random. But, um, like, for you to notice a, a dominance, a difference of dominance, it needs to, you have to have, like, 90 overall players going up against 70 overall players. Like, when you have an 87 overall uh, eighty-seven overall player going up, like, an 84, those two players are going to play very similar. Yeah. When it's that close, yeah. And that's the problem, is that all the rosters, pretty much 90% of the players in this game are hovering around 83 to 86 overall, you know? they got to space it out more. The best players should be like 98, The and third liners should be like 75, you know? Like, rookies should be 40-something. Like, use the whole fucking 1 to 100 overall attribute. Everybody in the game is somewhere in the mid-80s. It's a joke. Uh, all right. Keep current trading block. Continue simming. See what I mean about the freaking Sabres, man? The Sabres with these rosters, they, they just, they do so well. The standing's looking real? Well, that's good. But we haven't made any changes just yet. All right. So, the end of the season. And uh, let's take a look at some of these uh, some of these numbers. So, Pedersen, only 30 goals, but 76 points. Maple Leafs, Canadians, Jets, Senators, Flames. All right. Panthers, Stars, Predators, Blue Jackets, Lightning, uh, Sabres, Capitals, and uh, the Bruins. And then the Golden Knights, Avalanche, and Sharks. That's a little bit all over the place. But remember, those aren't the same. We don't have our uh, rosters with that, right? Now, player stats. Let's take a look at this. Okay. So I'm going to go around the entire league. All right. All skaters. McKinnon, 118. Ubardo, 109, 106. Eichel, 104. All right, so that's not that bad. There's only, like, maybe 20 players that are point per game or above. So that's not that bad, actually. It's not that far down the list. There's a few guys who have more than 100 points. And they're all, they're, there is some decent goal scoring in the NHL. And then if I go to the goalies, and I just want the guys who have played the most games played. 916 for Olmark. Now, remember, don't worry about Buffalo, all right? They have a good team in this. Gibson, a 912. Jonathan Quick, uh, an 893. Bennington, a 904. Shesterkin, a 901. Carey Price, a 914. Let me see Carey Price's numbers in previous years. 908, 917, 9... Yeah, 914 is about right for Carey Price. He's not having those type seasons anymore, the 930s, but that's all right. Uh, is there anybody who's had like a 9... Who's the highest save percentage? Hogberg with 24. Olmark, 916. So the best save percentage was 916. Hellebuck had a 916. So is that... You know what, I, I'd actually rather that because then the goalies in the playoffs will have more similar save percentages because we don't want the save percentages being too high. That looks good, actually. I think that looks good. Now, let's just get to free agency to see how it plays out. Uh, there you go, all the way down. Okay, bang.
Sorry, guys. I know I'm running out. I'm not talking much anymore. I've kind of run out of things to say. I'm just watching the screen. I've been going for two hours. Give me a break. Let's see what happens here. Hey! What do you know? What do you say? The Toronto Maple Leafs. Hey, we beat you to it, Vancouver. Beat you to it, jackasses. <laughs> <laughs> hey Vancouver, we won the draft lottery. We get the second overall pick. That's what we needed. Yeah, Vancouver, let's go. Let's get let's get a top player here. <laughs> See, the Leafs be winning the cup and the Canucks are winning the draft lottery the way it should be. All right, we'll go into the we'll go into the draft lottery just to see what we can get here. All right, we'll see what we can get here. <laughs> Hurry the fuck up. All right, the Kings going first. Sim pick. They go, oh, you just missed out on the franchise right-wing sniper, Wilford. Sorry, Canuck fans. Sorry. Sorry. Hmm. Now, I think I got to follow in the footsteps of Benning. Hmm. I can go with this ratty guy. Hmm. But it's probably better if we go after somebody who's, uh, you know, played in the uh, WHL that wants to play like Jake Vertanen, like a great Jake Vertanen pickup, you know? I'm going to go after somebody in the WHL. Uh, we'll go after uh, Lambos, Genther. He played for Edmonton, Winnipeg. Fuck that. Medicine Hat. I don't know where the hell that is. Regina. Uh, rhymes with fun. Brandon Wheat Kings, Moose Jaw, Stan Coven. Uh, wh what the hell is in Vancouver? Which one of these teams is in Vancouver? I don't know. Seattle Thunderbirds. There you go. Kubasik. This guy is from Seattle. He might be close enough. Bang, baby. The second overall. Oh, I'm Jim Benning 2.0, baby. Sorry, Vancouver. Sorry. Oh, wait. Wow. Philly fucked up, too. What the fuck? 64 overall, LaRue. Well, I could have had that guy mink. Two-way forward. Left wing would have been nice for Besser and Pedersen. Shit. Or, or Ratty Trash. Uh, what about the next one? Arizona. Power forward. Skilly. There you go. Go play with uh, Connor Garland. Sorry, Vancouver. Sorry. <laughs> Who is it? Yo, don't worry. He's from Vancouver, or he's close to it anyways. He'll want to play here. Even though he's shit, he'll want to stay. It's all good. It's all good. It's in the free agency. <laughs> oh, God, the rioters. Let's go. They're, they're, <laughs> they're organizing again. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, so let's see these goalies now, all right? So, uh, goaltenders, Anderson. Now, Anderson wants 6.4. Kind of see, see, it's a little bit low. He only had a 905 save percentage with a 304 goals against. And that's why he only wants 6.4. Bennington, 5.7. Grubauer, what do you guys think? I think this is better, even though it's a little bit low. The goalie situation in this game is trash. So, uh, I think that's all right. What do you guys think? 